So this is just the monument. I need to get all four. Got a little excess damage. Very nice. Extra foils. Okay. Two down, two to go. The bots haven't gotten much better. But you battled all my workers. And you actually won. Give me that deck again. Wow. You beat them with that? All right. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go then. What is this battlefield? You see those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. My cards can go to his side, and his cards can go to, go to my side. That's insane. Okay, so here's how it's going to go. I'm going to go Skeleton into Elk Fawn, which is going to go... I could place this down. Now, I wonder if it'll still generate a bone for them, even or for me, even if they own it. I guess there's only one way to find out. I might have had this wrong, though. I, maybe this doesn't level up. Let me just send it right now. So I attack, get a bone. This moves. Okay, then they attack. Elk Fawn levels up. And now the conveyor belts happen. See how that works? Okay, your turn. Here, I'll just go for a... Plasma Jimmy? Or maybe I just won't summon anything right now. So I attack, and then I move to block the Inspector. And I get bones still! Okay, so now I can do something about the Meat Bot. Unfortunately, I'm going to end up attacking the Spore Digger. I want to go for a Mole Man right here. Plasma Jimmy here. Well, whatever. I'm going to use the Plasma Jimmy. Wait, what? It can only kill creatures. It can't attack directly. Oh, I would have liked to change this. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to kill the Plasma Jimmy because I need my elk to move right. That's not worth it. Elk goes to the new space, that's fine. Mole Man blocks, Mole Man blocks. We get a Bones, come over here. This Meat Bot is useless. Explode Bot is gonna kill my elk. And then there will go pretty much my only attacking unit. Yeah, I don't think there's too much I can do here, unfortunately. Rip to everything. He's got a 2-2, two -two, but I block it. This is unfortunate positioning. I think I'm going to place the Drowned Soul just right here. That way I won't kill the Melter. The Melter will just be blocked. That's fine. Okay, I'll kill the Mole Man. That's not a big deal. Sarcophagus can be a blocking creature. But it's about to go to their side. But I will get some free damage off of it. And I'll get the Mole Man. Sure, why not? It's Mole time. Okay. My Sarcophagus, my Drowned Soul. Ooh, grizzly time. So now I can just win. Yeah, mummy lord attacks and grizzly can go in the far right lane. This should be... Oh, wait. I already go to the next phase. Let me just let it ride, see what happens. Yeah, that's not the worst death ever. Oh, scanner's online. Which card to scan? Just kidding. Obviously the one with the best stats. Yeah, good thing I didn't play that Grizzly, huh? The stat line could be better. <laughs> ah! Oh god. Oh no. As much as I want to sacrifice two to summon or sacrifice three to summon a Grizzly, I lose then. But wait. When the Melter when Melter perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. I actually might be fine then if I sacrifice the Melter to my Grizzly. Because I'll take three damage, but then I'll kill two, two of un his units. So, no, no, here's how it's gonna go. I played the 49er. I sacrifice all three of these to the Grizzly. Place the Grizzly, you know, here so I get another turn of it. Wait, I don't get a unit back. What happened to the unit spawning in this place? Is that only like when it's killed? Does Parish not count for sacrificing? Okay, hopefully I get another go at this battle. The that, that did not work how I expected it to. Because I, I wouldn't have played this way if I knew that's what was going to happen. You open the crates around the temple, right? You need better cards. No, I just didn't... Misunderstood a mechanic. I know for a fact I can beat you. Like, my deck is way better than that. Alright, so I don't want 
a strong unit out when the scales are tipped. Okay. So I will summon this right here. All right. It lives. You passed. It's my turn. This is a very unfortunate hand. But I'm about to get meat bot, so it'll be okay. Except for the part where I don't want a strong unit out when the phase is swap. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. Well, here's how it's going on. I'm going to still summon the Grizzly. No, I shouldn't play it there. Why do I play things without thinking about it? Wait, no, it doesn't matter because my Elk's going to die. I get the Inspector back. Or on my side, rather, which is nice. Now we'll get to see the Melter do melting things. Fantastic. I think I might just play the Spore Digger. Let that go to his side. That's just nothing but beneficial to me. Oh, it releases really a meat bot. Well, that's quite good. Okay, I'm gonna need the Drowned Soul to kill the Grizzly, unfortunately. Why did I place this here? What am I doing in this battle? Holy crap. I'm just not gonna play this turn. So, Drowned Soul. And keep taking it slow. Okay, not a big deal. That goes on his side. I can kill the Explode Bot and then benefit quite nicely from this. This is the greatest suicide bomb of all time. And then I will play Mole Man. I'll sacrifice a squirrel for it, huh? Fairly decent. And there goes the mole. I gotta pass this turn then. This just isn't that good. I'm tempted to just summon the 7-7 seven, seven now. Uh, there's only one thing I can do here. And that would be summon the 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, I know you'd like the block. For that, I say I don't care. And I will place you here. And the sarcophagus will stay in my hand for now. I will instead now summon the sarcophagus. Going down to one. It looks worse than it is. About to do a little bit of equalizing. I am not going to play this. So now, here's how this has to go. I have to kill the freaking Ureuli just so I can have this wipe him out. He gets a board full of 3-3s, three which isn't the worst thing ever. And then I can maybe manage. Goodbye. I will summon the Plasma Jimmy. And I will summon... Right, because I can't do anything with this, yeah? I will summon the 49er. And I will save this for a next turn. Right, enjoy your three fours, probably. Looks like this is the one. This could work. Oh no, there's just three threes. And now it's a three three on my side. So now I pretty much win. I can go bang, bang, bang. Just let it ride now. Yeah, so he's gonna have two of these. That's not a big deal. These will trade. I can pick this one off. Bang, bang, bang. And I might as well take a 1-1 one, one over to my side. This should deal the killing blow. Whoops, not what I meant to do. All right, fight's looking good. <laughs> what a strange battle. It's fun. I'll give it that. It's a good time. I probably should have gone for excess damage. It's been so long since I've had to think about that. Pfft, nice luck you had. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. Classic. All right, one to go. And then I am the, I forget what right I get, but I get something. I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the scribe of magics. That old hack you ought to reconsider. I got a techno card pack. Two, two is okay. Another 2-2, two, two, another Plasma Jimmy, Factory Conduit, Gourmage. Interesting. Some Mage Bone Synergy. 
Alright, on to the final area. Excited. What's this? The note reads, Greetings, if you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me, magnificent, magnificent to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. What is this? I see. I must put in some code. Well, what's on the table? Strange monocle. I put it on. How fancy of me wearing a monocle now. I get... The inside of this chest is covered in a sticky green goo. Oh, but I found a card pack. Magic card pack. That would have been great a while ago. I don't really care about any of these now. Well, let's carry on. Why is there a candle here? Why is there a book here? Okay, is these, these just all the collected cards I've had? Okay, it's good to know. I haven't collected all the cards yet. Oh, you're the traitor. I don't want anything from you. I will be on my way. Door stuck? Why? Okay, time to look around for clues. Does this help at all? Oh, here's one of them. So there's the skull. There's the wing. And there's the skull. Oh, so it's skull, skull, or skull, wing, skull. Skull, wing, and should be skull. There it is. Oh, is the goo. Arg? The pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. What is wrong with you? Do you see Magnificus turned me into Arg? Goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master. As one of his prized cards. Arg! Nothing will stop me. Well, I feel bad for defeating this guy, but you know, I, I, I have to. I mean, I got a meat bot. But he's about to summon three green mages. And they're going to have one attack due to the green gem. That's fine. I can do a squirrel into a, a mole. And I'll just wipe out this next turn. So down you go. And look for better cards. Uh-oh, there's another one coming. I'll place down Spore Digger. Could always use some more bones. Just wait until I draw something better. Yeah. I'll need more mole men soon. Well, this is a good one. I could wipe you out. Again, just waiting for more good cards. <laughs> there's not much you can do right now. I'm getting a bunch of zero costers too. This is brutal. Okay, finally a play. At last. I like how useless his deck is. It's great. It reminds me of my own. Yeah, here's how it's gonna go. I'm going to sacrifice or just murder you entirely. Put you on the field and then take the both of you out to summon the 7-7. Seven, seven. You know, I'll just wipe out the both of them. Overkills. Wonderful. Of course, he might summon something actually good now, but I think it's too late for that to matter. Yeah, GG. Thanks for the easy win. Nice. One down, two to go. No, please. Please, just tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. You trying to bribe me? You son of a bitch. I need these wins too, buddy. You're not the only one with an exam here. Ooh, Wolf Cub's a really good card. I'm adding that to my deck. I can open the door for you. Urg. Yeah, hold on. Let me work on my deck first. Wolf Cub is excellent. I will get rid of probably a Mole Man. Eh, 49ers are kind of weak, though. I think I'll get rid of that instead. Mole Man's really good for stalling. Just stall until I get good stuff. Okay, another one of these. This I also don't know, but there's a training dummy. What is the list? The dummy stares lifelessly back at you. Then suddenly it springs into motion. Ho ho, fight time. Okay, if a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Wasn't that fine? Because I could just shoot it with Plasma Jimmy. These practice mages are weak. I think I'm just going to ignore them. And then get this down when I can. So what's the difficulty? I'll just place you down now. How is this hard? Wow, such a battle. Great difficulty. Amazing, crazy challenge. 
<laughs> Thank you? I mean, I guess it is a practice dummy, but it sprung to life, so... Shouldn't it be, like, doing something? Its hinges creak back into position, and it returns to its lifeless stare. Hmm. Okay, actually, this is just a repeatable battle now. Okay, well, maybe I'm supposed to wipe it out entirely. I will attempt just to completely murder it. <gasps> oh! Okay, yeah, that is helpful. The, the skull is first, and then... How I will do this, I will t sacrifice this for the wolf cub. And then shoot this. Wipe it out. I don't know what's next. Does this die? It does not. Skull, and then... Well, sc either skull, arm, wind, or skull, wind, arm. It kind of happened simultaneously. I want to say skull, arm, wind. Okay, well, I do win now. I will go for the 7-7. Seven, seven. Destroyed. Oh, and I could just farm excess damage here. That's kind of gross. Skull arm wind. Sweet. By wind, I mean wing, for the record. Nice. Ooh, next fight. I... Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just imagine you are an ice cube slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is... Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. Oh, I'm sure you will. Love how the card has a hole in it. That's great. Okay, so I need to wipe out the ruby mocks. Here's how I will go about this. I will summon the wolf cub out here. I will summon the spore digger here, and I'll wipe out this ruby mox. I should actually put this in front of the ruby golem. I don't think it actually matters, though. In fact, I don't even want to kill it. Because then the mage knight will come back to life. Let's wipe this out. And then meat bot. It only has one HP. I'm not going to have it be a blocking thing right now. It should be winning soon. Okay, that dies. Overkill should get both of them. I guess I'm getting a grizzly now. And winning with the grizzly. Good deal. You'll love to see it. Yeah, this is the deck of decks, all right. It's not going to get better than this. Hmm, perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Take this pack. His pack is awful. Yeah, it's not quite what I want. Well, thanks for the battle. Go. First, I will do this. Get a card pack, why don't I? And none of these cards I care about, but still. Why don't I drop down this cellar first? Ah, oh, this is where the third battle is. Wait, no. No, this was the ground floor. Oh, well, nice fast travel. That'll be good for later. Up we go again. Here I am. Eh, let me open the chest first. Chest is empty save for a single card. A rabbit. Wow, thanks. I reach back in for more and notice a sigil where the card used to be. A wing. What about this? The note reads, the top sigil is found by the greedy. So, money? Or maybe the wing. Maybe I was greedy to go back into the chest? I honestly think it's the wing. Well, then what? The note reads, the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing. Or by those who hear too easily. I'm trying to listen to see if any of them give a different sound effect, but I don't think so. Maybe the middle one's easy to figure out? The middle sigil is found by the pale. The middle sigil is found by the pale. Excuse me, what is a pale? I mean, I know there's pale skin. Oh, this is the sigil that found by the heart. Um, pale? Sight? Wait, how did I get in here? Oh, through here. Well, I'm gonna put skull for the middle. Ah, son of a... <laughs> Come on. I was just merely listening. I don't quite know the solution to that, but no matter. At last, stimulation. My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. To unlock 
The full potential of my mind, you see. It's on lockdown. Hear me, Magnificus? I'm ready. We have to battle? Okay. So, what's your deal? Okay. No mox cards. I need to kill this mox, and thankfully the skeleton will do it. I think that justifies keeping this hand. I can get out the mole, too. The mole's not a bad card in the beginning. Like, this will wipe out both of his creatures. Just in time, too, because he's about to have a, a friend come. I'm also going to plop down the Plasma Jimmy. I could summon a bear. You know what? No, I can always summon a bear later. So, rip to these. Oh, but the Hover Mage is still alive. Oh, wait. Hover Mage will strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature opposing it. I misunderstood that. I see. Well, here's how it's going to go. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to sacrifice... All three of these for a bear. I deal four, they deal three, I deal four. Seems pretty good to me. What could go wrong? Wait, there is no second phage, phase. And they don't even deal three. They deal one. Wait, so what's the deal? This was just the third fight, not the boss. Duh. I don't know what I was worried about. That was incredibly stimulating. We, we aren't done here, right? I wish to see the light again. To sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? Eh. Well, you know. Still think my deck is as good as it's gonna get. If I open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out, right? Yeah, of course, buddy. I got you. <laughs> Narrator, he did not got you. What is going on here? What is this note? The note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go so far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider. Wow, they were killed as they were writing the note? Amazing. Hello, tree man. You are here at last. How do my pupils fare? No matter. There are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition, and I see that your ambition is to take my title. How sad. It will never happen, you see, even if you defeat me. But I am bound by certain rules. First, we must battle. First, well, it's the final battle. Behold, the brush of the scribe of the magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. Now for a bit of color. This one needs some bleach. No, my mole! Okay, I think you just improved my skeleton? Oh. No, this is bad. My, you improved my squirrel. You improved... Made my mole man way worse. And the skeleton and sarcophagus suck. Well, this hand is now terrible. Get out of here. And I have no idea what these do. This is something else. At least I get a squirrel. Okay, I get a ruby mox when it perishes. Mole man's decent. Here's what I'm gonna do. A squirrel is gonna go here. Squirrel will be sacrificed for this thing. It's perishes, not sacrifices, son of a... Well, it doesn't matter because what I will do is return the damage points here. When this attacks me, it will get hit back. What do you do? Mox cards gain one power. Yeah, the issue is I don't have mox cards. I guess I could wipe this out. I could wipe out the orange mage. That's actually not too bad. I'll get some free damage in upcoming turns. Plus, this doesn't deal damage now. Just hurts a little bit here. When Wolf Cub is played, you draw cards equal to the number of Mox cards on my side of the board. Too bad I have none. Which do I sacrifice? I might have to sacrifice Mole Man so I can get out the Wolf Cub. It's a pretty effective trade. Too bad I don't have any gems. Okay, not great. What do you do? Nothing spectacular. 
Well, I need a blocking card right now. Even though you do nothing. Okay. Zero three. Well, what does it do then? Yeah, okay, so I, all my ability cards just kind of stink now. At least Necromancer is good here. And then Plasma Jimmy is a pretty good defensive card here. So this is overall positive. I may reach his second phase yet. Ooh. Ooh, tam too bad Gem Fiend's gonna get me. Plasma Jimmy here isn't so hot. I think it'll be fine, actually. I think I will make it to phase two. I almost don't want to play the Plasma Jimmy. It says 7-7. I won't ever be able to play this, though. I might just pass and let the scales tip to see what happens. Hmm. I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. Okay, yikes. Here's all that needs to happen. I merely need to sacrifice the Plasma Jimmy for this thing. It will die, but I'll get a Ruby Mox in its place. And then my Ruby Mox will have one more power. Yes. Oh, two more power. Well, that's sick. Too bad this perishes. But it won't because I'll get the bear. But this can't be sacrificed. Damn it. So close to glory. Um, don't I still almost get him? Yeah, I get him in two turns anyways. What is this? This, this fight is weak. What a joke. You call this a battle? Here, I'll summon my grizzly. Free damage. Get owned. Well, that's all four of the bosses. Very well. My deck is just all purpose good. It's time to see what lies beyond. I can't say this is the end anymore because who knows how they're going to twist it on us. Very well, we have battled and now I may speak. You see my eye. It aches because it remembers. It was excised by none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is. Arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become Hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of... Oh, well, at least I got a card pack. I must be aware of this card pack, I'm sure. I don't think I care about any of these. And... Another deck? Eh, I got a good all-purpose deck. I don't see the need to change anything. I think I'm gonna just go back to the starting island and see what's become of the four things. What's this? Can I not interact with it? Tentacle. Haha! <laughs> the Great Kraken. It submerges itself during its opponent's turn while submerged... Oh, creatures attack over it directly. I think this is just lower stuff. I want to go check out that island. So, what is the deal here? Maybe I can access this previously unaccessible island? Inaccessible? It is time, Challenger, to choose the scribe that you will replace. I feel as though the scribe I will, I will replace means that I will gain their deck. I don't want to gain the mage's deck. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I kind of want to gain the technology one. The technology one's been the, had, has had some of the most fun cards. Will I replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology? Yes. Oh, it's the moon! He he he, suckers. Oh, you actually picked me? Great. I can skip past the part where they whine at me. Let's get this over with. I've got some big plays to make. Oh, God. You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like a powered up version for the finale. This is going to be different. Okay, well, let's see. This is not a great starting hand. I want something that gives a bit more action. Yeah, that'll do. I can get a wolf cub out. Place you right here. And then I'll get Bonesman. I think just there's a blocking card and a bone earner. I'll just leave this here. I've got to give it to that dredger. Not as useless as I thought. What? What is going to happen here? 
I don't like this. 96 Spore Digger digs up a bone. Jesus Christ. That's the ticket. Your poor ears. What the hell is this? Okay, I hate this. Can it please stop? Why is this cutscene so long? Actually painful. Okay. So, technology boy, what's going on?